Hey guys, um, hey guys, um, welcome to Pokemon. Now you're probably wondering why you're seeing me on a Wednesday. And decided that I was too excited to record the series that I couldn't wait till the weekend. So I'm doing this after school. You gonna have your honey toast in the morning? Huh? Yeah. Okay, and just one pack in there, so it'll be enough to, like, put some on there. And then I spread it around and I put some on the other piece of bread and spread it around, okay? Okay. Alright, so, wait. Now, I was gonna do a recap. And now, probably now, like, like I'm gonna say, um, I beat the first gym because that gym is really hard, and I didn't want you guys to, like seeing me grind to like beat the first gym because it's rock type, and in this game you get Pikachu as your starter, and I'm not gonna explain all that because you know. Now I'm gonna explain what happened in the like the beginning. Now in the beginning. It started pretty much like the normal anime. Um, Ash went to sleep, dreamed about which starter he was gonna pick. Um, he woke up late, ran to the professor's place, and got Pikachu. And after that, he ran out, got attacked by a bunch of Spearows. Pikachu wasn't listening to him. He had to run, and he stole Misty's bike, like usual. And the pe and the Spiro the Spiros caught up to him, and then Pikachu, um, Pikachu, um, protected Ash, all that stuff, and then we got to a Viridian, Viridian forest, and as you see, we got ourselves a Pidgeon and Butterfree in there. And, you know, all that good stuff. Got a Pidgeon, and, you know, then we made our way through Freyden Forest. There was a bee drill attack, and all that stuff. And now we're here, we beat Rock, and now we're going to carry on. Okay, don't worry. We went through all the store stuff pretty much, and now we're gonna move on to. Right, you know, sorry, what route is this? Sorry, hang on. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, it's an ad. Playing this on an emulator for an ad. It's an emulator that spits out ads of you. Sorry for that. We're in Peter City, it's Peter City. And this is Route 3, alright? Gonna put her boy, of course, our boy Pikachu was in the front. Um, we could battle those trainers for XP, but I don't think I'm gonna do that real quick. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to here. Yeah, yeah, I came through Floridian Forest. Oh, and you're probably wondering why there isn't any sound. Um, it's because uh, level, 10, level 10 Caterpie. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Some more wine in here. I see the farm that needs to be charged up. Did you need to do this? What? No. Well, why are you looking through my backpack? Get your out. You don't need to pull out all that stuff. You know, it was in the way of the Chromebook. Huh? It was in the way of the Chromebook. No, no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was in the way. It was in my way. But I'm put it down there so you can go ahead and um read your book, okay? Okay. So remember, not Monday, I have a conference with your teachers, okay? Okay.
Alright, um, sorry about that. I was, I'm talking to my mom. Now, what, there's something even down here? Bro, what the heck? I actually had to go to the route. Alright. Alright, let's do this. I was trying to get some XP for Buddy before we accidentally clicked on Pidgeot, and, you know, like I said, you're probably wondering why there isn't any, um, sound. It's because, um, the music was too loud and as you see in the settings here um all you could do is turn off the audio not really you know um no okay, sorry not really um you know like turn it like all the way off no i said no i said no why? I said no. Why? Here, here's a plate of food for you. <laughs> Who are you talking to? No. Who are you talking to? I'm recording right now. Go, please. Go away. Please. Please. <sighs> now, like I said, um, there, you're probably wondering why there isn't any audio right now. It's because. We're already at six minutes. All right, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> the reason why there isn't any audio, like I said, it was too loud. The music was too loud. Whatever was too loud. And I just... Yeah, I'm going to switch out to Butterfree so I can get some XP. Like I said, it was way too loud. No. So, I had to... Um, turn off the audio so you guys can actually hear me because just listening to very loud music would be very sensitive to your eardrums and annoying to hear and also be kind of boring because you couldn't like somebody was really talking or doing any commentary or something like that so I had to turn off the audio I'll see if I can do something about that okay okay oh god I actually, I actually passed this guy Alright. I might go back there. So, you know, just get some XP. I do want to get some XP. I'll go back there to get some XP right after about this. Wow. Alright, I'll give half of these Pokemon to Pikachu and half these to Butterfree. You know, they're not the best to fight them all. But still. Under shock. I think it's actually pretty strong. And it I got it I got it the light bulb. I don't know if the in, in the anime that he actually gets the light bulb, but I got it. And it's pretty helpful. Can't be honest. And I really need a new attacking move for Butterfree. Like look, I only have tackle, string shot. Poison powder and sleep powder. My only attacking mode is tackle. You got, I got string shot. Still not slower. Thank goodness. Now, like I said, I really need a new attacking move for Butterfree. Um, no. I'm gonna give half and half. And Butterfree is about to level up. Hopefully, he learns a different attacking move like Confusion. And in my video where I said I needed help, I said I needed help feeding Brock's gym. But I came out with my own way. You know, I might as well tell you how I be beat him. So, when I when I went into Brock's gym, um, first he sent out a Geo dude. I mean, his only Pokemon was Geodude at first, and then after that, I had Pidgeot in front because I had strategy, and Pidgeot needed to be in front for the strategy to work. Ignore that. <clears throat> mm. 
Pidgey got really needed to be in front for the strategy to work. So, what I did... Mama got me a sink Pokemon for my birthday. No, no. Like I said, what I had to do is that I have... Is that I kept spamming sand attacks on... No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I took down the uh, I took down the Geo dude. The battle ended. Some little kids um appeared. Huh, got get static Rattata. And always like I said, some little kids appeared. They were supposed to be Brock's sister and brothers. And they said do not hurt Onyx or whatever. And then another battle started. Um no no oh no no I'm just gonna take self Pikachu. Another battle started. I don't think it intimidate. So like I said, another battle started with Onyx. So I kept spamming sand attacks with um Pidgeot until Pidgeot died. And I got his accuracy all the way down. All the way down. I mean all the way down. Until I couldn't until I couldn't um sand attack him anymore. So I kept wing attacking until he killed me. And then I went to Butterfree and Sleep Powdered. And then I switched into Pikachu. And it was raining. And I'm pretty sure in the rain, electric moves increase. Attack power increase, I at least think. I'm gonna go. I'm pretty sure attack power increase. But he also had the, elect the light bulb. So that really helped. And I killed Onyx and and and, and Pidgeotto actually did some some pretty decent damage because Onyx just kept risk missing its attacks, so it did some pretty decent damage. Dude, all right, got to done. Getting a lot of XP on Pikachu right now. I'm trying to learn agility. Hmm. Let's see. That quick attack. Thunder wave. I don't want to get away. I don't want to get rid of thunder wave. Right. It's a psychic attack. I don't know if Pikachu. I don't know if Pikachu is going to. You know. um, Survive enough attacks. To you know. Set up. But. Sorry about the ad. Alright, again. But, I'll get rid of Tail Whoop for it. And Pikachu learned agility, alright. And like I said, I defeated Brock with Pikachu by just spamming Thunder Shocks. It was... I was very scared by doing it all. Oh, you're not a trainer, right? Yeah, you're moving around. Trainers just don't move around. Huh? Is my cuff so adorable? Go on, take a look. What? what? No. Wait, you're actually a trainer? Oh, God, I didn't think you were a trainer. Alright, um, I'll level up Um, you some more. Wait, this thing's gonna use sing, isn't it? Oh, da. Oh, thank goodness. So that thing was gonna use sing. But just in case it doesn't use poison powder, actually use a sing. Poison. And tackle. Oh, come on! You disabled my only attacking move! Fine, I'll string shot you then. I'm gonna heal up um, Butterfree, just in case I need it, maybe. Or by poison. Is this thing no sink yet? I just got to stall for time. Actually, my string shot. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to do. 
he disabled my only attack move. See, this is why I need a new attacking move. For for Butterfree, I really need one. Ah, yes. Tackle's no longer disabled. I'm gonna kill you. Take that. Alright, then. Now, let me... Now... I, I'm, I'm going to clarify one thing. I'm only going to get the Pokemon that Ash gets. So, I'm not going to catch any of my own Pokemon. I'm going to only get the Pokemon that Ash gets. Himself, like in the anime. Stuff like that. Some flowers, alright. Oh, I'm going to... I'm gonna put Butterfree in the front real quick so we can get some experience. You battle me, right? Hmm. Oh, you don't battle me. Oh, wait. Oh, oh you actually heal me. Oh, thanks, man. Alright, then. I'll just switch these two back. And is there anything back there? No. There isn't. Alright, and we're on our way to round four already, huh? Oh my god, it's a Zubat. And he's attacking, and it's attacking somebody. Nah, not gonna help. Alright, gonna go right past the Zubat into the cave. <sighs> Fine. Fine, I'll help you. Come on. I'm here, Zubat. Let's go, Zubat. All right, use Thunder Shock, Pikachu. You know, yeah, it's only level seven, so it's not that hard to beat. Better than the Pokemon in Viridian Forest. I'm what I might I add. It's definitely better than the level of the Pokemon in Viridian Forest. Thank you so much. You saved my life. My name is Sensor the Scientist. I don't care what your name is. Somebody is. It's up in Mount Moon. Mm hmm. Hmm. Through the moonstone, I'm sure of it. No plant by Clefairies, huh? That's right, Clefairies are aliens. You sure? You sure Clefairies are aliens? Because there are, you know, there's a Pokemon that I know of that is looks more like an alien. If you guys know what I'm talking about, answer, like, tell, tell me in the comments. You have to protect the from the moon soon, please. All right, then. I guess we'll do that in the next episode. I think this is a great place to stop right now. I know we didn't really do much in this episode, but I promise everything, things will get more exciting. And, alright, hang on, wait, wait, forgot to stop the recording. Right, so, and I'll see you guys next time in the ne next episode. That will maybe even be tomorrow. Because I probably will be too excited to not upload and play this game again. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye. Uh, bye.